The use of face masks in public places has been recommended by the World Health Organization as one of the most effective ways of curbing the spread of COVID-19 pandemic. There has been a lot of talk about the way Tanzanians are handling the COVID-19 pandemic. One of the most controversial issues being wearing of masks in public. And so I sought to find out how Tanzanians are generally handling the COVID-19 pandemic. This is Arusha, located about 100 kilometers from Kenya-Tanzania border in Namanga. In the streets, it's business as usual. And when it comes to wearing of masks, well, it appears this is not a key priority for many residents here. But why? Mtu anajikinga kibinafsi kulingana na imani yake alionayo kwa mungu. Kama sasa hivi unaona kama watu wengi hawa, hawa vai barakoa sana, lakini kwa yule ambaya na hofu anaeza kwa val. Corona inaeza kumpata mtu yoyote, lakini tusue na hofu na tunajua hata katika maandiko haitakiwi kuwa na hofu. Ni ugonjwa ambao haujapata suluhisho. Hivyo hatuwezi kukaa ndani tukiogopa eti tukitoka nje tutapata corona. Kwa tunatoka nje tunafanya kazi kwa bidii ikifika sehemu ya mkusanyiko na vaa sehemu ile hatari. From the towns to the rural areas. 900 kilometers from Arusha lies Mlowo town in Mbeya region southwest Tanzania. The traders here are busy trying to make a kill from those heading to Zambia via Tunduma border, which is about 40 kilometers from here. Again, no masks. From Mlowo to the largest city in Tanzania. Welcome to Dar es Salaam. Here, the script changes slightly. You will find few people putting on their masks. Bilali Kitwana, a businessman, is one of them. Kwa uwelewa wangu na wanabarakua ni muhimu kwa sababu dunia nzima kuna janga la corona. So Tanzania tu, Afrika yote, hata mashirika makubwa ya duniani ya afya, WHO, wanasistiza kwa mba duniani corona ipo na watu still wachukue precautions za kutosha. Interesting to note is that even those who don't have their masks on here in Dar es Salaam some know very well the dangers of not having one. Mi mwenye kwa kushudia baazi ya lafikiza ngu wengi mungina mwondoka kwa kolona ingawa hapo hapa nchini wa kunchi za nchi lakina mwondoka kwa kolona. So, how dire is the COVID-19 pandemic in Tanzania? Well, that remains just that, a question. Simply because there is no official information that has been released by the Tanzanian government on the impact of coronavirus since May last year when 500 cases and 20 deaths were reported. However, Tanzanian new president Samia Soluhu Hassan has formed a committee of experts to evaluate the COVID-19 pandemic and advise the government on the way forward. From Dar es Salaam, translated in Arabic as House of Peace, my name remains Elijah Mwangi.